Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Optic Scumpy, here today, bringing you the first post-match vlog of the season. I know this isn't a post-event vlog, but I know that a lot of you guys probably want to hear how myself, how the team feels, and just overall, you know, generally how we think our match went against 100 Thieves yesterday. So, before I get into any of, you know, the match breakdown, the mentality going into it, Let's first just talk about, um, this was an exhibition match. You know, this match meant realistically nothing. I mean, to us, it didn't not mean anything to us. And I think that I can speak for a lot of competitors in really any thing that you compete in, whether that be sports, you know, esports. I mean, a spelling bee, whatever the hell it could be. Anything that you're competing in, you want to win. And if you don't want to win and you don't have a winning mentality, then you probably shouldn't be competing in the first place because then you're just going to be dragging everyone else down. So we wanted to win the match. We understood that there wasn't anything riding on the match in terms of, you know, seating or st standings for the continue or the remainder of the year. But we did want to win. Um, we were going hard. We were trying our best. And, you know, we came out with a dub in the end, which was obviously a very good thing for us. It's good for team morale it's showing us that you know the practice that we're putting in right now is paying off we are on the right trajectory and we're going in the right direction so i just wanted to say that first and foremost um you know just because a lot of people were saying oh they're just glorified scrims blah 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 you know the whatever i mean if you don't want to win that sucks you know who wants to who wants to lose and then they get trash talk especially against 100 thieves i mean obviously we have some history Nate Shop being the owner of 100 Thieves, we had some history uh, with with him. Um, and a lot of people try to say that it's like a rivalry between us and the players. Really, nobody on that team, at least speaking for me personally, I don't have like a rival with any of them. I, you know, it's, I obviously want to beat them, but I don't have any like reason that I want to overly beat them, you know? So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. We wanted to win. It was an exhibition match and um, moving forward. So let's get into the match itself. So we played Garrison Hardpoint first, which is a pretty good hardpoint for us. Um, our hardpoint pool at the moment is actually really, really, really strong. We don't want really to have any weaknesses in it. So I'm really, really happy with how our hardpoint looks right now. There's obviously some things that we could tweak and tune on certain maps. But right now, when it comes to like an actual match, I'm very, very confident in pretty much any of the hard points that we are going to end up getting. So, Garrison hard point, we went into the map. Um, I mean, we just all started frying. The match started a little bit slow. I think it was around like 60 to 60 at one point. And then, I forget what happened. I'm pretty sure we held a good P3 on Garrison, which then led to P4. And then I'm pretty sure we split time P4, had a decent P5. And then, because we were up like 40 going into the second rotation of hills. And then we pretty much clean wiped them on P1. Got like pretty much all of the time. And then after that, we also got full P2 time because we got the kills at like the perfect moment. So that kind of swung the game into our like heavily, heavily favored in our direction momentum wise. Um, and honestly, we put it, we probably should have 100 point club them. Uh, we, we pushed up a little too far on the P3 and we played like absolute idiots. Um, but we were all feeling it. We were all frying, fragging out. So I think that we all just wanted to get more kills and keep playing uh, four kills, you know, keep slaying them out and just put them in the dirt. So that's something that obviously, that's a mistake we normally wouldn't make, especially in a match that was a lot closer and probably meant something. Uh, but we played that map pretty much flawlessly. That was the only thing that really stuck out to me that we we made a mistake in uh, was that P3 because they they didn't get a lucky spawn. People were saying they got a blessed spawn. No, we we pushed out too far and we didn't block the back. So that was our fault. That wasn't them getting lucky. Um, moving on into the search and destroy. So search and destroy this year is very, very interesting. As you guys know, there's no snipers allowed and there's also no smokes allowed. The reasons being for that, snipers are just absolutely OP. I mean, in the hands of a pro player, the flinch resistance alone on the Tundra and it's pretty much a one-shot kill anywhere like above the midsection. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty overpowered. And I know there there's a debate, and a lot of people say that snipers aren't overpowered. Blah blah blah. 
but in a competitive setting, like they're they're pretty insane, and uh, I don't necessarily agree or disagree with it. Um, but just trying to break that down, and then the other thing is there's no smokes, so I've seen a lot of people you know getting upset about this. So smokes right now are also really broken. So if you throw a smoke at your feet and you stand inside of the smoke, you can see out through the smoke a lot better than people can see in. And you have auto aim while inside of the smoke. But if you're outside of the smoke, you don't have auto aim on the person inside of the smoke. So you can see where that could be a little bit game breaking. So that's the reason for that. Um, but we play checkmate S and D. We haven't really played too much search and destroy. I mean, personally, I've played a lot of Umu matches. Um, and then we also scrim S and D a couple times a week off stream. So we haven't really gotten that many reps. So it was good to get some reps in an actual tournament setting. Uh, tournament setting again, it's an exhibition match, but it was nice to see how it would play out. I think we played the map well. We definitely messed up a few rounds. I think we should have won like 6 3, 6 2. But we ended up winning 6 4. So, I mean, I, we'll take it. You know, it's our first time playing search together uh, in an actual match setting. So, again, it's, it's kind of just feeling things out, seeing how things are going to play out when you're actually in the match and uh, see how people are going to play. Because when you're, when you're scrimming search and destroy compared to when you're playing search and destroy in a match, especially a map five people's play styles tend to change up a little bit uh just because you know you don't want to be the guy that's getting first blooded or costing your team when it comes down to those very very crucial S D rounds you know so people play a little more safe a little bit uh just different and uh match S D. so we won that i was happy with that and then control we just played flawlessly i mean dylan started 11 and 0 that really helped us uh he pretty much won us the first round by himself and then the second round obviously on our offense they had the huge live advantage, so we knew that we had to play the point. Uh, the only way we were going to win was a, by objective. They had like a 7 to 9 kill lead in lives, I'm pretty sure. And we got one wipe. We played it really well. We pinched them out. Um, and then I stayed at their tree. It was spawn killing them off spawn, which bought the rest of my teammates more time to push up water side because they were in a 4v2 or 3v2 water side while I was spawn killing them in their base. So it gave them a little bit more time to get to the point and for us to get control of it. And then we just ended up out trading him. And then thankfully, Bruce was right next to the point, And we literally needed like a centimeter left to cap the point. And then we ended up getting it. So I was really, really happy with that. And then the third round, I mean, Dylan was just playing really, really smart, really heads up. He was really just influencing the spawns so that we had them like, we had them on one side of the map pretty much. Like we had them running into us in pretty much every single engagement. And the only way that they could have countered that was wrapping back and killing Dylan, which it, which they eventually did do, but it took them quite a bit of time to actually end up doing that. So honestly, we played the series really, well, really, really well. I was very, very happy with how we played. Um, 100 Thieves was a top like four or five team is what people were putting them at based off of scrims. So for us to come in and set the tone like that and get a quick 3-0 win under our belts... Uh, it's definitely really huge for team morale. And like I said, we know it doesn't mean anything, um, but it does for us. And, you know, why? you don't want to lose. You don't want the first match of the season to be a loss. I mean, counting or not, you know, you just don't want to lose your first match of the season. So very, very happy with how we played. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the starting of all of the next events. So... I think our first match is on February 12th. We play Paris Legion in our first match. And then we play FaZe the same weekend. So that's going to be really, really cool. We're finally going to get to play FaZe in a match. We scrim them a decent amount. Um, but they're considered, you know, one of the juggernaut teams alongside of us. So that'll be really, really exciting. But just competing again, it was a really, really a breath of fresh air for myself. I would imagine for most of my teammates... It was a very, very long off season, and as much as I love Warzone, you know, I can only play so much of it until that competitive itch starts to need to be itched again. You know what I'm saying? So it was good. It was a lot of fun. Great to be back playing competitive matches, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the remainder of the season. So I hope that we put on a show for you guys. I know a lot of you guys were happy with the result. We're just going to keep at what we're doing. I think that our practice has been very... Um, constructive. It's been worth our time. We're not really wasting too much time in our scrims. Obviously, we have bad and good days, but I think uh, I think we're on the right path right now. And if we keep doing this, you know, we're going to be a force to be reckoned with for season two of the CDL.
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little recap of our first match. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video. It really helps out the channel. And I will catch you guys all in the next video. So thank you very much again. And as always, this is Rob Excelling.